Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter and I am so excited today. I'm actually going to finally finish that beautiful wreath that we did, I don't know, two weeks ago. Uh, so you can find it there. Um, but we're going to be actually adding all the props to the wreath. So um, I'm super excited because it took me a long time to figure out how I'm going to do this. So anyway, before we get started though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Um, I appreciate all the help that I can get and all the support. So, all right, let's get started. So this, you, I mean, I'm in love with this wreath and I think I'm just so excited today because you can look at all the stuff that we've done. Okay, so first off, before I forget, Barely Art. So if you go to barely.art, um, you know, it's my favorite glue for cardstock, so it's this one. And this bottle actually has my Instagram handle on here, so I'm super excited about that. But anyway, it's the best glue for cardstock. Um, they also have a lot of fun, free SVG files on their website. So this is going to come out soon. It's, you know, a Christmas tree, drums, it's the Nutcracker. So stinking cute, right? And then this lollipop. These bows are from Design Space. It's a free one. I will make sure it's in the description. And I love it because it's all cardstock, but it feels so, I mean, just how it curls and everything. I love it. I love that cardstock can look not like cardstock and flat. So anyway, um, so these are all fun ones. I couldn't decide what to put on the wreath. I even thought about doing these little baubles and like the little lollipops but then I ended up doing this as a present. So you can see I'm all over the place, but let me show you what I've decided on. Okay, so here is our wreath, right? So pretty. So let me move this out of the way. And, you know, originally when we were gonna do this as, um, as a project on the design team, we were doing like a sweet Christmas. So we wanted, um, like cupcakes for the Nutcracker's hat and lollipops and all of that. But then it ended up taking a twist. I still love sweet. I love the color scheme. So what I want to do is I want to do this, the word sweet up here, which is so pretty, right? It's, this is gold cardstock with a hot pink, uh, cardstock and then just a bunch of white layers, right? I did the white because I wanted to be able to see it from different angles and I needed it to kind of stick out, um, um, you know, um, behind this beautiful, um, just a sea of flowers, leaves. <laughs> um, okay. So what I want to do is I want to put sweet up here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Cause this is, we're using, um, what do you call those things? The, uh, floral, like round thingies i know from the dollar tree i'm like losing my mind we wrapped it with streamers if you remember from the first tutorial we wrapped it with the streamer so that it wouldn't stand out and then we added the paper leaves on there so what i'm gonna do is i have these um you know the floral stems like that you would do we're gonna that way we can stick them in we don't have to make it so permanent i also kind of want them to stand out a little bit like i don't want this flushed in here i kind of want it out a little bit so that the colors are all like beautiful, but I feel like the wreath is very overwhelming or it can be. So what I want to do is I want to do a bunch of these, um, nutcrackers and with the lollipop and I'm going to just stick the lollipop out just so that he's holding the lollipop. So it's still a very sweet theme with the lollipops. So this is what we're going to do. And I think it's going to look so good. So look at this beautiful nutcracker, right? I mean, so cute. So I want a bunch of them. I want to add this, um, ribbon down here like this. So let's add the things that we know for sure are going to be there. So first off is this is one of those floral stems and I'm just going to twist it off and Let's see how easy this is going to be. I don't know if it's working. <laughs> if it's coming off or not, but or I'm going to keep going. I got to twist this off somehow. Um, I wonder if I have, let me see. I have another tool, but my desk is a mess. Oh, here it is. Let's see if I can like 
bend this off better with this little guy. Oh. Okay. So, oh no. Okay. <laughs> Are we still on? Okay, good. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this back so that we have like a little knot like this. That way I have something to glue it to like this and then stick it in like this. I still think it's too long. Okay, so let's fold it like this. All right. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to do this. So this is going to be glued to our bow. And then it's going to go down like this. So let's see if our bow is going to be good. Okay. Hmm. I want to make sure that it stays, that there's enough surface area and it's flat. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's put this down and see if we can glue this together. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here, but okay, it's a mob of glue right here, a glob, a mob. So I'm gluing it down. I'm going to leave it to the side. Oops. Let's see. Okay. Um, this, this I'm just going to glue straight down. We have enough layers. So let's make sure it's exactly where we want it. Okay. And there's a lot of area, surface area to do this one. So. good okay okay so that looks good let's start working on our nutcrackers I have a bunch of small ones and um, let's see let's do some of the small ones and then we'll do the big ones so here are my small ones we're just gonna use glue and start gluing these things down and just two, two small ones to do. And then we're just going to put the little pieces in the back or I'm almost wondering, I feel like the floral pieces are kind of hard to work with. Maybe we just put um, foam squares back here, let it stick up and then actually glue it down. I think that's gonna be our best bet. Okay, so I also wanna glue this down, maybe like this, okay. Yeah, okay, all right, <laughs> let's get going. We're gonna be, um, let's see, how did I do these? Okay, yeah, I definitely put some foam squares on the back here. We want everything to be layered because, um, because this is so beautiful, but can be overwhelming as well. So we wanna make sure that everything um, stands out. Um, this thing, I mean, I just love it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I think this is going to look so, so good. Okay, with adhesive squares, these are the foamies from Barely Art, which I love. And you can see I'm not reinforcing them. I don't need to add glue to these things. 
um, they're super sticky, but you wanna make sure that we're activating the full like surface area. So you wanna make sure that you're squeezing it down. Every part of that sticky is getting stuck to the top and the bottom so it's not going anywhere, okay? All right, so from here, let's see, we've got our, let me make sure I have all our pieces. And the next thing is gonna be our little skin piece. And I'm gonna be using Fairly Art Glue. Oops, hold on. I need to put the black on. I know these pieces are so small. But um, I didn't, you know, the original design had the eyes separate and it was gonna be so small. So what I did instead was I sliced it out and then knowing that it's so small, I'm actually, I'm totally cheating here. I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna dot it just to help give it more definition. And then we're gonna slowly assemble this little guy. <laughs> so, I won't bore you with all the details, but I think this is how we're gonna do it. So we've got, let's do the lollipop. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lollipop so it's square up with his hand. So it looks like he's holding it. And then it goes down to the bottom like right here. So I am going to put on this one, I am gonna glue it down because it's a big piece. So I'm gonna put, I think a big foam, yeah. So I've got a big foamy right there and I'm actually, because I know it's gonna be covered, I'm gonna put some right there so it's not going anywhere. I don't think it's going anywhere, but um, we're still gonna do that. And then um, put some glue up here. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute look at that ah, love it love it love it okay <laughs> so let's do this one same thing and we're using the QB that is a quarter of an inch I mean look how thick that is I love it okay so we're gonna do the same thing put it down on his hand oops squeeze it but I'm also gonna put some glue right here so I don't think it's gonna go anywhere Oh my gosh, I just love it. Okay, we're gonna need to do a few more. Um, let's put this one down. Now I'm wondering if I should have just glued this thing down. Okay. Okay, so I want this to be right in the middle. It's not even going down, okay.
have to cover that with something. Um, I wonder if I have any more leaves. Hold on. Surprise, I only have one left. We'll figure it out. We'll cover that up a little bit. Maybe something like that. Uh, I'm going to cut this in half. That way, it'll give me two pieces. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's do something like. So we cover that completely. That's down. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. And then we'll be putting these these little guys on. Got a few more. Okay. Um the little ones won't have lollipops. But let's finish this up. So let's do this little guy. Um, isn't it cute? <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. So once again, um, this original wreath is um, a file from Paper Mint Decor, Olga. You can buy the file from her. Um, I thought it was worth every penny. I think it was on sale for $8. And the leaves are just so pretty. It's ready to go. Um, basically, it's for a 10-inch wreath. And she has the exact amount of leaves that you need to cut out, the colors that, you know, you're going to do it. So I, you know, I love her file. Super, super easy. And then the rest are from Barely Art. So those are gonna be free files like the Nutcracker, the drums, you can see, I mean, you can turn this wreath into something else. These are such small. Um, these are two inches, and this one is, let's see, four inches, so half the size. So we've got a little two inch baby, and then we've got our four inch. Look at how cute that is. So, so cute. Um, I have a few things. I have another one that I'm going to make where it's this bobble with the sprinkles. So that'll be a different tutorial to wrap up another present. So it's sort of like all the same theme if you were doing that. Um, how pretty would that be though? On like on your like credenza or something and then or you know like one of those tables that you have when you walk in and you've got your wreath and you have all the presents that you're going to give out. Be so stinking cute. Now I'm like using tweezers, look how small these pieces are. So I do recommend using Barely Art Glue. These I, you know, have done earlier, yesterday actually. And you can see they don't curl up, they stay on. Um, 
I used to not use glue at all, but now I use glue all the time because it is so much easier. And especially you don't have to worry about things like getting messed up, like curling or warping on you, so. He's so stinking cute. Um, and then I'm gonna roll up, I'm gonna do a bow right now so that you can see how the bow works. We'll put together a lollipop. So here's another little guy. Um, oops, he's missing. Is this the piece? He goes across the hat. Yep. Okay. I mean, you can see how small this little piece is, right? The glue on here, one, it dries clear, and two, it will stay on, so. Oh my gosh, okay. Mm, is this the thick one? I can't even tell, my eyes are like going so bad. Okay, <laughs> that is the one. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one across here. Can you even see the glue? It's so thin, right? I love this precision tip. It really helps. Okay, and then on this one, we've got this little, um, these little rhinestones. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue down. We've got two, actually we have three, right? Yeah, here's our third. We're gonna do one last one. Oh, actually, let me do the flowers and then we'll, and then that's it. It'll be assembled. You can stay on, I'm just gonna be assembling it. Let me show you these little bows though. So this is what the bow looks like, can you believe it? So, um, because I like the textured side, I'm gonna flip it over this way. This will be the front. So the actual um, little ends of the ribbon will be flat or um, non-textured because that's the way the cardstock, cardstock works. So what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of the glue gun, the hot glue gun, put a dab in the middle. Oh, I forgot, I was talking and I forgot to do something. All right. Um, you want to curl the ribbon first, and I forgot to do that. So let me, I'm going to start over. <laughs> That's what happens when I'm talking. Okay, here we go. We're going to do this first. So this we're going to curl out so that you can see it went from flat to curled, right? So we want to do that. We want to prep the cardstock, basically, for it to, like, ready to curl. So you see how, like, it kind of crunches up like that? Now we're going to put the glue gun down. A little bit of glue right in the middle and then you're just gonna press down one side of the ribbon and just hold it you can do you can do the top two right now because there's enough glue I think to keep it down and so see that's the start of the ribbon I know it's so small then we're gonna put down a little bit more glue I'm just gonna hold it for a little bit. This top part goes down, and I'll do a bigger one so you can see. So it covers everything. So you can put the glue there, make sure that it doesn't, you know, that this doesn't pop off. And then we'll fold this one down. And it's okay if there's glue coming out because we're gonna put a little snowflake on there, um, or you can put a rhinestone or something like that to cover it up. This one's hard because it's so small. I mean, look how small that bow is. Okay, so it's dry. 
so stinking cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a snowflake. Oh my gosh, this is a broken snowflake. So I'm gonna take it off. It, oh my gosh. This is what happens on tutorials, right? Okay, it was a broken one. So I'm gonna try to get off the glue. Just so there's not so much glue on this thing. Okay, let's see if there's another one that's not broken. All right, this one's not broken. And so I'm gonna do this one. Let's put glue on this one. This bow is a hot mess right now. Okay. So this one's a little bit broken too, but that's okay. So we've got a little bow. Look at how cute that is. So that's going to go on our lollipop. And let's do the lollipop now. So we've got a few variations in colors. And so I kind of want to do that. I want to make sure that like we have different... So like this lollipop, oh, these two are the same, but they have different bows. So we, oh, the bottoms are a little bit different. So let's try to get a different one and see here. Oh yeah, we can do this one here. This is cute. All right, so on these, they're just flat because they're so small. I didn't wanna add any more. And then plus they're sitting on a big old quarter inch foam square so you can see that's popping up from the nutcracker so I think that's going to be fine so you've got that there and look at this glue this is the precision tip is perfect for this Look at that, so cute. Okay, so then now we're gonna glue this down on here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. And I'm just gonna hold it in place to make sure that it dries. Look at that, so this one, we don't have a nutcracker for him yet, so Let's do a big one. We've got a big one and a small. We have a few big ones and a few small ones to do. Okay, I'm bringing it over. I don't know if we want to change up the, you know, the colors. We can. Like, kind of like the white though. So. Okay. Um, so let's do the black on this one. are much bigger pieces so much easier to do yeah I recommend doing the two inch one first because then it'll be easy peasy if you do this first you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna feel like the other one's too small So we can do a different one on this one. So let's do white. We can even do this bib. Um, all right, 
let's get his. Okay, this little guy, I do have it on some foam squares just to have it pop out a little bit. So we can put that on here. Um, and then we've got shoes. So we can do shoes and the sleeves. How cute is that? Okay, so then we've got these two little bar thingies. We could do, we could go with the blue. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm just changing this up so that they're all similar in color and cohesive, but that way it doesn't feel so matchy-matchy. And I think it looks good that way. All right, let's see. So cute. All right, on this one, let's see, we have, that's not the one I use, I use this one. All right, here we go. We're gonna put a snowflake down. And then we're gonna put a rhinestone. Oops. So he's done. Let's put a lollipop on him. Let's do a different lollipop. Um, okay, let's do this pink one because he's already so blue. Although it looks kind of cute, huh? Let's do another one of those, but with a pink bow. So here we go. Mm. I like that. do a gold one so you can see how I've got my color scheme but I'm mixing it up so it doesn't feel like it has to be so matchy but it will look comprehensive and cohesive because we've got the same colors down and this also keep in mind this is you know we're doing it as a as a team for barely art so we you know, we don't have the same color card stock, so this will help to bring everybody's projects together. And it's so unlikely that you guys will run into that situation, but if you do, that's what I would do. All right, let's roll this out. I'm gonna grab a glue stick. Alright, here we go. 
And you're just gonna have to hold down for a couple seconds to make sure that it's dry and it's not gonna pop up on you. Which it just did. So I'm gonna hold down a little bit longer on this one. bows this would look so cute and it basically took me two weeks to figure out what I'm gonna put on this thing I did so many in so many different sizes and finally but I'm super excited I think it's gonna look so good I know I'm like red. I've got so much glue all over. Okay, here we go. All right, so on this one, I'm gonna put glue on here. Then remember we're gonna put a really thick foam square, a QB on here. Press it down, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I'm still gonna reinforce this one though. love all the colors look at that so cute <laughs> okay so we've got our little guys lined up okay we've got one more to make right all right so on this one do we do the same or do we make him different um Right? Do we make him a little bit different? Oh no, that's the one that we've already done. We haven't done this light pink one. Okay. Um. Yep. Let's do it. Maybe we do another one. I don't know. Maybe we do five of them. We'll see. We'll see how many fit. All right. After we finish this one, I'm going to put it on so you can kind of see what it looks like. Look how different, can you see how different he looks from this one? We don't have the, um, the extra layer yet. So that's why with the gold.
so we got that down. Okay, let's see. Shoes. Get his hat on. I think on this one I'm gonna do the the light blue on this one too. I didn't let it dry yet. <laughs> Let's do his little snowflake. Okay, and then we'll get Oh yeah, that looks so good. Um, okay, so we need our foamy QB. So here are four guys. Maybe we can do a fifth one. Um, but let me, I will do that on my own. We're gonna glue these on, but I'm just gonna place them right now so that you can see what it looks like. Oh no, I just knocked it over. No, no, no. Okay. Maybe something like that with the little ones. Like that. So cute, right? Maybe I'll have some extra lollipops. I'm not sure yet, but that's what I'm gonna do. I think this is adorable. Thank you for following along. It was a long journey, but I was so excited. I mean, look at this. It is gorgeous. All right, <laughs> comments, questions, anything that you wanna see. I would love to do another one of these, but maybe for Valentine's Day and do like the pale pinks in the back with like the red and hot. I don't know, we'll see. But all right, thank you so much. Let me know what you think. I will talk to you guys soon.